Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about my all-time favourite film. Now I may have mentioned this in other videos, um, I think I have, so if you've seen them you'll know that my all-time favourite film is The Lion King. Now in the same video I'm going to be talking about The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride and The Lion King 3. Um, I don't know if you can see my cat up there but she's trying to climb, <laughs> she's held it on the door now, it's really quite annoying. Um, it's just like a scene from The Lion King, I just hope she doesn't fall off. Um, yeah, so I don't have Simba's Pride DVD. It is um, really, really expensive for a DVD. It's about forty, fifty pound, which essentially I would be willing to pay. But every time I go and buy it, I'm like, no, I'll, I'll put it off till next month, and maybe it'll be down in price. And of course, it never is, and I keep putting it off. So I absolutely will buy it at some point. But until now, Simba's Pride is missing from my collection. Well, it's a lie. I think I have it on VHS somewhere, but I don't, have, I don't have a VHS player. So for just now, I'm just going to say I don't have it. Now, The Lion King um, is basically a story about a little lion cub called Simba, in case you've not seen it. Um, Simba lives with his um, parents and his dad is king, King Mufasa. But Mufasa has an evil um, brother called Scar and Scar wants to be king. Scar is really annoyed that Mufasa got to be king and he didn't. Um, and as you can see by the little picture there, Scar is a very evil looking character. Um, so, so Scar wants to be king and he sets out to kill Mufasa. So he pushes him off the cliff, that ironic scene, that ironic, iconic scene in The Lion King where Mufasa falls. Um, and Simba thinks it was his fault and runs away. And when Simba runs away, he meets Timon and Pumbaa. Of course, Timon is very popular just now because he's a meerkat. And the meerkat is really, really, really loved just now because of a little meerkat called Alexander. That, just for the record, that simple sad fur is absolutely gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so The Lion King... So Simba runs away and he meets Timon and Pumbaa and then by the end of the film, obviously I don't know, I don't really know how much information you should give away when it comes to Disney's because most people know how the end. But I'll try and I'll try and keep it brief. So so at the end of it he has to go back to Pride Rock, but will he go? And if he goes, will it actually make a difference? And that's basically once you it's, 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 there's plot, there's morals to it and everything all the way through it, and it's just such so, such a lovely film. It's got some amazing songs too. You have um Circle of Life. Um, Elton John's Can You Feel the Love Tonight, um, Hakuna Matata, which is obviously a, a lovely song. And if you say it to yourself, Hakuna Matata, when you're feeling down, it really, really does make you feel so much better. It's really quite interesting. Um, there's also um, I Just Can't Wait to Be King, which is one of my favourites. Um, but there is, there's loads of great songs. Now, Simba's Pride. Simba's Pride tells the story of Simba and Nala, they're married, and they have a little girl called Kiara. Now, in the, outs in the Outsiders, you have um, Zira, who is a really scruffy, scrawny lioness, who is on Scar's team, essentially. And she has a son called Nook and a daughter called Natalia? That sounds about right, but I'll double check for you. And um, her youngest son is called Kovu. Now, um, Kiara and Kovu meet, and they become best friends, and they don't know that their, their families are enemies. They don't know this, so they become very close. It's kind of like the whole fox and the hound thing, where the fox and the hound become best friends and they're supposed to be enemies and things like that. So it's a sort of running, a running theme in Disney films. And then they become best of friends and then Zira sets up, Zira tries to, when Kovu grows up, I'll start again, when Kovu tries, when Kovu grows up, seriously what is wrong with me today? When Kovu grows up, Zira wants to, wants him to kill Kiara, of course he's not gonna. Um, so he's, Kovu's got to try and convince Simba that he's not gonna hurt Kiara, but obviously Simba's trying to keep Kiara away from Kovu, and the whole story is basically Kiara and Kovu trying to stay together and trying to get their families to actually speak to one another instead of fighting. Um, again, it's fantastic. Um, some great songs. Upendi is probably um, my favourite. It's very upbeat, very lively. Um, but you also have things like We Are One. Um, that's the only two that come to mind. But they are really great um, songs as well, and they're perfect for singing along to. Now, Lion King 3, Akuna Matata, um, is basically the Lion King, but from Timon and Pumbaa's point of view. Um, Timon and Pumbaa were actually really successful characters. They had their own um, series on the Disney Channel and things. There's loads of merchandise and things, and I mean, they are cute characters. Um, so basically, it, it's the Lion King from, in many ways, from Timon's point of view, because you've got the whole Meerkat family, and they sing a really great song called Digatuna, which I love. Um, Go and see if you can find that on YouTube, and it's just, it's just sensational. I love Dick song. song. Um, I'm actually singing it in my head just now. It's lovely. Um, so that's, it's basically like, what happened, what, what Timon and Pumbaa were like before they met Simba, and 
how they watched Simba and the lions and things do what they did from a back seat. And it's really quite interesting. It's, some bits are a little bit boring because some of the scenes are pretty much identical to the Lion King scenes with a slight twist. Um, the one I can think of mainly... Um, well, basically any scene where you have Timon, Pumba and Simba, the scenes are kind of the same. It's not an exact replica, but it's pretty similar, so you kind of know what's happening, which is a... But I suppose if you're a very young child, you're not going to pick up on this, but um, as a more adult viewer, it, it, you do kind of notice it. Um, but in all, it's a really good um, film. And there's some like, really nice extras on the DVD where you get to do like roller coaster rides around Pride Rock and things. It's just it's just great fun, really. Um, so all three of them, one, two, and three, are lovely. Um, definitely worth buying. The Lion King is really, really hard to get hold of. I mean, this took me forever and I paid about £20 for it. Simba's Pride, like I said, is almost impossible. So if you have it, you are very, very, very lucky. And... I will get it sometime, I promise myself I will. This one is a little bit easier to get hold of. You can get it for about £10, give or take. Um, definitely worth buying as well if you're a Lion King fan. Now you don't have to essentially watch them in order if you've never seen The Lion King before. You can watch the last one and then the first one and then the second one. But I mean I wouldn't recommend it. I would sort of suggest watching them in order just because it feels it feels better. I've got the hiccups. It feels better and it flows more and... Um, it just sort of makes more sense if you know what's going on. I can't climb up the curtain. Um, but yeah, so it's absolutely great films. Definitely worth um, watching. Feel free to leave comments and things. Let me know if it's your favourite Disney film too. Um, and let me know your favourite Disney film as well. I'd be interested to know what other people like as their favourites. Um, so yeah, go and buy those. Great films. Let me know your thoughts. I have one little cat that needs to be seen too. So I'll see you next time. Bye guys.